Hello everyone, this is Jake Stid, and today I'm going to talk about this tool I found uh, that addresses a couple of universal design for learning traits uh, that I'm going to cover today. So the traits that this tool covers is 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 .1, and 1.3, offering ways to customize the display of information, offering alternatives for auditory information, and offering alternatives for visual information. So this means this is a tool to maybe just help people who are maybe blind or deaf, or really it's a tool to help everyone, and especially for students who have trouble processing large amounts of information at, in one sitting, something like a uh, lecture or a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, what this tool is designed to do is to help students break down information into small chunks that they can manage or actually us teachers to help break it down for them in small chunks they can manage um, and kind of show the thinking we want to get at so I think we're most of us are familiar with graphic organizers um, so what we have here is an uh, an app uh, an application called simple mind you can find it at simplemind.eu and they have it works on a couple different platforms uh, Mac Windows iPhones iPads and Android devices um, there's a video giving you a quick tour of what simple mind is if you are lacking after this presentation um, so what it is is helps us to analyze our thoughts and structure it in a way that we can see our thinking and kind of makes sense for us so if we're talking about Oh, photosynthesis or, well, let's not do photosynthesis. Let's do history. If we're talking about the Revolutionary War, one side we can talk about the United States, the other side the British Empire. Uh, we break it down and make it understandable to us. So this is obviously much more complex. Uh, that's just one map they made. Uh, but it's virtually unlimited page size and the number of elements. Uh, you can go different layouts. You can add media. So see, this one is much more simple. It's got pictures right here. It's got a little sun over here. And the branches are one word, two words, maybe a small sentence kind of thing, information that we can easily break down. But over here, you also have a space where you can add voice memos. So maybe... If the student needs to hear it again and again and again, uh, adding a short, you know, 15 second, one minute kind of burst of information that they can hear uh, will be beneficial to them. So there's an option for that there. Uh, so the great thing about this is, is they have a 30 day trial over here, which is identical to their full paid version except that it runs out after 30 days and you either lose your work um, or you just buy the full version, which is $6. Uh, you got it for a lifetime. It's fully functional. Uh, and as they keep updating it uh, to fix up bugs or make it better, you get those updates for free or, you know, because you have the lifetime license. So let's check it out. Let's check out Simple Mind for a second here. So you got your toolbar up here. Uh, with a couple different things that you need, uh, a list of your mind maps that you've made. So to start, we'll just double click, and there we go. Let's start with Jake. Why not? Right? Let's just start with that. So we have a couple different layouts here. Uh, we can make it however we want. I'll do a top-down layout, uh, just because that's when I think of graphic organizers. That's how I think. So there's these buttons right here. This T is for a little text. Here you can add things. Uh, but here, this little plus sign just adds another branch. Jake uh, is a teacher. Red for Apple, right? So that's fine. So you can add another branch off of that one. Or you just go back up and Jake likes football. And look at that. It spreads out itself, it evens itself out, and then you can, you know, add another one and so on and so forth. 
So this is Simple Mind for you. It, this was a real short tour, but it's really important to see how effective this tool can be uh, in helping to break down information into small chunks that students can use and learn from that instead of having to try to learn from a large presentations. Uh, I hope this was informative and I'll hopefully talk to you again soon.